Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a good morning right now. Um, today I am at Dragon Con down in Atlanta, Georgia with my good friend. Hey, it's Ethan. How you doing? It's my friend Ethan. We go to film school together. Anyway, uh, we're at the Marriott. No, we're at the Hilton Hotel. And uh, look at this. We got the Beetlejuice going down right here. We got the Welcome Dragon Con. Uh, the Meanie, Mitch Green, and all that good stuff. And uh, look at some of those characters. So before we start going, I just want to say that we're going to have a great time. And I will, I will film as much or take pictures as much as I can. But uh, y'all check this out. I've got my own Dragon Con thing with my name on it. So we got this and uh, see you around. Bye. Hey guys, so um, this is, this, we're at a section called the video rooms and uh, we've got the anime video room, which they're playing something. I, I don't watch that much anime, but I did watch Avatar The Last Airbender growing up. This is the main video room, which is like, I guess, old Hollywood. Now plan B, where the stair. All right, guys. Ethan, you having fun? I am, yeah. Still waking up, still exploring the place, but it's really nice. All right, what would you be interested in more? Watching the anime or classic Hollywood? Uh, classic Hollywood. All right, me too. All right, here we go, guys. I'll let you know how it goes. Hey, guys. So we just got back from watching, uh, like I said earlier, about these two awesome video rooms. The first one we watched was... Um, it was an old classic Hollywood, you know, one. And uh, we watched an anime one that was very dark as well. Um, but it wasn't as dark. It was just, it was like Star Wars or Star Trek, but like an anime. My good friend Ethan would like to elaborate. What would you like to elaborate on both of the two things we saw previously? The first film, I thought it was nice that um, you get a sense of what filmmaking was like in the 50s. A very simple story where it's not plagued down with uh, special effects that most Marvel films have nowadays. As for the second one, the anime film, um, I did enjoy it. it the animation reminded me of um, the anime film Death Punk made back in the 2000s. So that was the connection I made. Yep, and I'll just say this too, guys. Um, I wasn't able to focus earlier, but in that classic Hollywood film we watched, it was like the brick of the wall. You're thinking of the brick of the wall. That's what he was saying in the dialogue. And then the house just it, like just caught on fire. It was very interesting. And they were like, like you know how they they would emphasize that kind of stuff, exaggerate. And that was just Yamato, Yamato. So I need to watch more classic Hollywood or just old Hollywood stuff, and especially anime. Besides the last set, last, last seven. Air, Avatar The Last Airbender. So, all right. Thank y'all, and we're continuing this adventure. See you in a soon. Look at this dragon. Nice. Perfect for Halloween. I'm ready for Halloween, honestly. Roar! <laughs> now we just need the fire, and then we're good.
Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> Hope y'all are doing well. Uh, so, get this, I just met Elijah Wood from the Lord of the Rings trilogy and The Hobbit. Uh, I didn't have any money like my friend, but we, my, my friend got a picture with him. Um, sadly, he charged $100, so what I did was I just went up to him and I said, hey, you know, like, hey, what's up, you know? And um, I shook his hand, I smiled at him, and I said, you were amazing as Frodo Baggins in the Lord of the Rings trilogy and, and you know, The Hobbit. And I said, my mother also named me Elijah, and he... He looked a little caught off guard and he was like, okay, cool, awesome. So, <laughs> but anyway, uh, as we were going down the round, I happened to see Dallas James Liu. If y'all don't know who Dallas James Liu is, Dallas James Liu is the actor for the live action series on Netflix for the Avatar The Last Airbender. He portrays Zuko. And uh, I could have met Aang, but I, I don't know, I like darker characters more. That's just me personally. And maybe as an actor, I'll get to play him sometime. But uh, Dallas James Liu, after I told me he was amazing, after, <laughs> after uh, telling that he was amazing or phenomenal, he, Dallas, he was very, um, he was appreciative. I shook his hand as I did Elijah Wood and I said, when's season two come out? When's season two coming out? And he said, oh, it's coming out this fall. And like, he was willing to talk to me. And I told him, I said, you know, I just didn't have any really money to, for a photo or anything, but he really appreciated that. And I'll just say this, as actors, as I'm trying to be a real actor, it's about interactions with people. It's not about for the photo and other things. So, uh, I'll let you know how that goes so for the day, and thank y'all. Um, this has been overwhelming and amazing. From Star Wars? Okay, cool. Hey guys. Hey y'all. <laughs> uh, I hate that we gotta leave early, but my buddy's gotta get to work and I'm gotta get to as well. So, um, but I will definitely come back for this next year. Um, I went in without looking at the app and I didn't know which one to choose. Ethan, uh, what do you, what do you got to say about this experience? Glad we got to hang out, man. All right, what else? We got to come back next year. Um, I got to bring more cash so I can meet more celebrities. Yep. It was amazing. Again, if y'all didn't hear me earlier, I met uh, Elijah Wood. I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, have any money for an autograph or, or you know, or, or you know, picture, but like I. I was able to just go up and shake his hand, and, and uh, I said, you were awesome as Frodo Baggins in Lord of the Rings, and he, he said, I said, my name is Elijah, too, and he said, oh, awesome, okay, that's, he, he looked a little caught off guard, but he was cool with it, um, and then I met David, uh, I mean, Dallas Lou, and he played uh, um, Zuko in the Avatar live action series so yeah uh, I didn't meet a lot of celebrities but like meeting those two really made my day so thank y'all and uh, I'm gonna keep traveling and the best pick was I got a picture of those girls at the end <laughs> they're called the honey dukes I like the honey dukes <laughs> I'm, uh, <laughs>